How's it going guys, Dev0406 here and I'm back again for your weekly dose of Dragon Faber videos. So this week we don't have any hair pulling the hard um, in at the age of time challenge battles but this week we have the continuation or should I say the last part of the Sword Haven uh, quest board quest which is Uniget. So there's one more strange request that has been posted on the Sword Haven request board and it wasn't there yesterday. It looks like there is one last thing the mysterious poster wants you to do. Right, so let us travel to Book 3 Sword Haven. Now I have already played through this quest and to get the reward at the end of this quest you need to have completed all of the other quests before that and get their required items which is 1, 2, 3, 4, all 4 of these quests you need to have played through, got all of their rewards uh, mixed. Uh, so the first quest and the second quest you need to uh, merge the two rewards inside the last quest to get a condensed blob A. The third quest and the fourth quest you need to merge their uh, rewards to get a condensed blob B. Then you merge both of them to get a condensed C blob and then the fourth quest also gives another reward which is the Glob of Uniget which you will need to get the pet at the end of this quest. But without further ado, let us play through the last part of this uh, Uniget quest. So, finally, let's see where I'll be headed to now. So it looks like we are just in Sword Haven and hmm, that wasn't there before. Okay, interesting. So it looks like a doll and this emblem looks vaguely familiar. I'm not sure where I've seen it before. It, I think it's a rose emblem or it's a weaver emblem. Yeah, I think it belongs to a soul weaver or something like that. The emblem looks really really familiar. I can't I can't remember if it's a I think I think it uh belongs to a soul weaver of sorts. Uh I think that's a weaver emblem if I'm not wrong. Either that or it resembles very closely to that. So it looks like it's a kid and Hmm. Right. Okay, this is getting kind of creepy. Okay, this is getting kind of creepy and sad. So we have a rose soldier here catching for stealing, right? Will the hero step in? Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh wow, that's a, that was a quick change. <laughs> oh wow. So the door seems to be some sort of... Uh, magic sentient artifact of sorts that seems to be able to control people and make them miserable but uh, it sort of stops once they uh, realize their uh, mistakes and grow stronger and stuff like that so that's pretty interesting thing to note and the rose soldier is now back to normal it seems and the emblem is still there but uh, his eyes aren't dark and whatnot anymore so very interesting, could we see a new villain or perhaps the return of Katif? I don't know. Uh, very interesting how this doll is a, uh, is pretty powerful to be able to control people just like that and put up mysterious posters for the hero to do quests on. Right. Oh wow, so that worked out well in the end, so really nice and looks like it's kind of blurred out here. I don't know why. Maybe that's intentional. Hmm. Okay. So what happens to the doll? Does the hero keep the doll? Is it left there for more people to touch? But uh, either ways, this is the reward, which is the Edgar set doll. Um, buffs you and debuffs your enemies, scaling a small amount of your charisma stat. So very nice. And that's the end of this quest, uh, this quest line, hopefully. Maybe we'll see more interesting things to come in the near future. And let's test out the pets. So recently, they added quite a lot of uh, good pets to the game. First of all, we had the baby Chimera, which I didn't get to showcase the previous time. Uh, essentially, uh, baby Chimera is the best pet in the game, apart from the baby dragon. Okay, so does a shit ton of nature damage. Um, 
Occasionally, it will do fire damage, which can inflict a dot on your opponent, and it can also increase your boost parry and dot uh, by about 120 or so. So let us test out the pet here, the Edgar set doll, and let's see what it does. Right, so um, let's just use corrupt. Okay, so the pet doesn't do any damage. Okay, so it, uh, plus seven boost. That's a pretty small boost, if you ask me. So yeah. Okay, yellow. So red gives you a boost. Um, what does yellow do? Yellow increases your bonus. Wow, really nice. Blue, blue attacks the enemy. Okay, um, for four damage, right? Oh, uh, it does a little bit of damage, and it also gives the enemy minus thirteen bonus. Interesting. Green attacks the enemy as well. Um, green gives it a minus seven boost. Okay, that's interesting. Purple. What does purple do? Purple adds seven to your defenses. Now the boosters are all really small. Uh, keep in mind I don't train my charisma. I only have. Plus 44 from all of the items that are currently equipped on me, so yeah. Red again. Um, does it cycle through it every time? Is it the same? I wonder. Plus 7 boost, yep. Looks like it's the same. Yeah, so it cycles through the uh, colors every single time doing the same thing. Um, it's not a particularly strong pet. It's, if you ask me, uh, it's pretty weak. But if you're a beast master, then I suppose the pet is good for you because, you know, it can uh, buff you and uh, debuff your enemies. But it's a very small, almost. Uh, it's not significant and it's not noticeable. So it's just pretty much a utility pet. Not that strong in my opinion. Um, they could give it. They could uh, buff it a little bit in my opinion uh, since you can, you know, it takes so much effort just to get this one pet and uh, definitely having it uh, buff and debuff different stats is a really nice utility uh, utility thing to have but uh, the boosters are just too small to make any significant difference in battle so yeah, that's my opinion on the pet. Um, perhaps they are introducing the, making the Beastmaster class uh, relevant to Dragon Fable, who knows because uh, Beast Masters haven't really been a viable build to go to in Dragon Faber, unlike in Adventure Quest. So, anyways, I think the pet is a little bit underwhelming. They could uh, make it uh, buff and debuff. Uh, they could make its buffs and debuffs a little bit stronger, in my opinion. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, short Dragon Faber video. If you have, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, share it with all of your friends who play Dragon Faber. And till the next time, this has been Devs 4066 Peace out.